Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, professor of organic chemistry and the creator of the Dat Destroyer books and the Orgo Man materials. I am here today with mathematician Louis Blois, who's going to do problems for us on probability. This is a very sought after topic. You'll see more problems by Professor Blois in the Math Destroyer. All right, Professor, show us a few examples. Okay, yes, these are probability problems that are dealing with drawing from a deck of cards, a very standard kind of probability problem scenario. Two cards are randomly drawn from a standard deck of 52 cards. What is the probability that both are number cards? Well, let's see. If we take any one suit of a deck of cards, how many number cards do we have? Well, we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are nine number cards per suit. Since there are four suits, we have 36. So the probability of picking, uh, let's say, of A and B, of picking two number cards, is going to be the product of the probabilities because they're independent events. And uh, let's see, the probability of A, we already said there are 36 number cards out of a total of 52. Once we've chosen that, how many number cards are remaining in the deck? 35. Out of how many no uh, cards in the deck? Only 51 because we've already taken one out. So the probability of drawing two number cards is 36 times 35 divided by 52 times 51, which is then choice C. Okay, next problem, very similar. Two cards are randomly drawn from a standard deck. What is the probability that both are number cards and their sum is odd? Okay, so we're looking for two number cards. How do I get the sum to be an odd number? One card has to be even, the other card has to be odd, because only odd and even are going to give you an odd number. Odd plus odd is even, even plus even is even. So we want, what, we want, what do we want to have happen here? We want an odd and an even, right? As we draw the two cards out, first an odd, then an even, then we have to consider the other possibility of drawing an even first, okay? Or probability of even first and then an odd. So this is gonna translate into a, a product and a sum. The product when I have an and, the sum when I have or. So the product of, uh, uh, I'm gonna have this, the product of odd times the probability of odd times the probability of even plus the probability of even times the probability of odd. All right, what's the probability of picking out an odd uh, numbered card from a deck? How many odd numbers cards are there in a single suit. Let's see, there's three, five, seven, nine. There's four. Well, there's four suits, so four times four is 16. Total number of odd, car odd numbered cards in a deck of 52. How many even number of cards are there? Well, let's see, there's two, four, six, eight, ten. There's five, and in each of the suits, five times four is 20, so 16 times 20 over the 51 cards that remain in the deck. Now we have to consider the other uh, outcome where we pick an even numbered card first and then an odd number. So how many even numbered cards are there? We already established that there are 20 out of the 52. And how many odd cards are there? We've already established that there are 16 out of the 51 remaining cards. Okay, so if we multiply these across, what's 16 times 20? 320. You'll combine this over the common denominator, 52 times 51. 16 times 20 is 320. And 20 times 16 is 320. So my final solution is 640 over 52 times 51. And if I look at my uh, selection of answers here, that would be choice D. Okay, and there we are. Finally, let's go to the third problem here. Three cards are randomly chosen from a standard deck. What is the probability that all three number are number cards whose sum is greater than six? Okay, well, there's only one instance of my picking three number cards where the sum is uh, equal to or less than six, and that's if all three cards are the number two. All the other number cards are fair game for this, uh, the description of what we look, are looking for in the outcome. So we are looking for the probability of A and B and C. 
we are looking for the probability that the first card we pick out is going to be a number card that's greater than two. How many number cards are there greater than two? Let's see. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's eight, okay? Eight out of, of then eight pursuit. So we have eight times four. Altogether, we have 32 uh, out of 52, 32 cards that are great, no, number cards that are greater than two. Now we want to have a second number chosen, a, ch a second card chosen from that collection of 32. Now there's only 31 left, or with 51 cards left. And then of the remaining uh, cards in the deck, there are only 30 that are gonna satisfy the, uh, the with the exclusion of the two, and there are only 50 cards left. And this product is then going to express the probability of my choosing three cards whose sum is uh, greater than six because we've excluded all the twos in our calculations. So there we are. That's it. Okay, thank you very much, Professor Blois. That was another great problem on probability. All right, we'll see you guys in study group. Good day to you.